the book of Psalms, chapter 71, starting at verse 4. Deliver me, O oh, my power, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. Verse 5, for thou art my hope, O oh Lord, Yahweh, thou art my trust from my youth. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory. Call Halal Allah, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rechak, that's what done. Double honors to the apostles of elders, the great millstone taught me his truth. Peace and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity, which can allow them the freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willing to edify and video. Shalom to the confusion of face or the fellow Israelites that are looking like the other nations and the other nations. Shalom, shalom. This is the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Coming at you with another lesson through the book, Mass Control, Engineering Human Consciousness, by Jim Keith. Um, on page 135 in chapter 16, The Grinning of America, Monarch. Jump right into it. One of the problems of researching covert controls, obvious. We are attempting to delve into programs that are secret and meant to remain so. For this reason, there is often no paper trail to follow and researchers must pick his way through thickets of conflicting information and first-person accounts that sometimes lack substantiation and challenge our current belief systems. I got a scripture real quick because you heard what he said. Um, it says, we are attempting to delve into programs that are secret and meant to remain so. Luke 12 and 2, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Verse 3, therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear and closet shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. Verse 4, and I say unto my friends, be not afraid of them that can kill the body, and after that have no more than they can do. Verse 5, but I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he have killed have power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. So at the end of the day, what we bringing out, that's just the spirit because like like the author said, he's going through information that has been hidden. You know, they did all this in the secret and the dark and it's being revealed. And we're proclaiming it. Men, uh, uh, Great Millstone and the other camps, a men like myself or Salakia, myself and men like myself that's, you know, seeking truth and trying to do the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Um, I'm going to continue. This says, for this research, there is often no paper trail to follow. And the researcher must pick his way through thickets of conflicting information and first-person accounts that sometimes lack substantiation. It is often a different task to sort out fact from fiction, reality from delusion or disinformation. After CIA mind control programs were severed as official projects in the 1960s and 1970s. The paper trail became sporadic. The Freedom of Information Act, which was provided at least a partial view of what took place during the MK Ultra era, now fails us entirely. One is forced to assess primarily first-person accounts, some of them contradictory, some of them plainly delusionary. delusionary. Determining the truth becomes difficult, and it's evident there are many areas of our knowledge of mind control programs that would take years to understand to clarify. An area of research that still demands corroboration and definition is what has come to be known as Project Monarch. On June 25, 1992, psychologist Dr. Conrodon Hammond gave a talk to an audience of psychology professionals at the fourth annual Eastern Regional Conference on Abuse and Multiple Personality in Alexandria, Virginia. The title of the lecture was Hypnosis and MPD Ritual Abuse, and it was of the first public presentation which seems to expose a vast terror incognita in the area of mind control research. Dr. Hammond began his presentation by commenting, com commenting, commenting on the prevalence of multiple personality disorder cases who had apparently suffered ritual abuse at the hand of mind controllers and his own efforts to understand what was going on by interviewing other psychologists 
and psychiatrists who are encountering the same type of cases around the country carefully without leading or contaminating as Hammond says he cross-checked with other mental health care professionals comparing cases until he felt that he had had a good sense of what was going on. Hammond stated that in as many as two-thirds of the ritual abuse cases that existed, the victims had been subjected to a highly developed and uniform technology of mind control, suggesting that there is a large network of practitioners of this kind of practice. And at the end of the day, what people got to realize is, you know, like, these people, like Esau has basically, it, it says in scripture that he's, um, what's the word? Um, basically, he, he is, he, he has, um, did a diligent search though. So Esau, you know, he has a lot of knowledge. I, I went into this, I believe last week about, you know, he has knowledge on the left hand side. You know, he has knowledge, he has wisdom, but he doesn't have an understanding. You know he he lacks understanding because this is the only man. Like for instance, you got this Tesla shit. Like just speaking through the sphere, uh, guy I work with is talking about Tesla and he's unveiling this truck. Now how much we follow the news, I I wasn't following that. Now mind you, you know they got the technology and and and, and, and ingenuity to come up with this technology to do that. But these are the same people that are polluting the actual planet. So that's. You know, shows you they don't have any understanding. He you know what I'm Like, only a, a, a brute beast or, 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 or a base man would destroy the same place that he has to have. You know, it isn't like he's, you know, teleporting off the planet. He has to live here too. But he's so base and just so carnal, you know, you know, that money is the aspect of, uh, he, he only sees that, you know, it's greed. You know, just like with Alexander, you know, it, it, it shows you in history. Like, for instance, when they came into power in the, or in the era of Maccabees, when you had the Seleucids and Ptolemy and all them and the other two generals, after Alexander the Great conquered all that land and he, he died and, and the generals took over the land, what did they do? I mean, we was just reading about it because, you know, this is the week of Hanukkah. You know, what, what happened? They start fighting amongst themselves. That's how base this, this Edomite is. Lockheed. But my point of saying all that was to say this because you know people wouldn't believe that that's far fetched. But they show you how they control you all day. I don't watch the Super Bowl. Can't remember the last time I have. Yet still, to show you how powerful that TV is, I mean that's what they call it a black mirror. You know, if you know anything about black mirrors, <laughs> but you know, you, you know, my Demi used to tell me certain things, and it's a lot of things she write about, but certain shit she ain't. Just like I ain't write about everything. But my point being, the Black Mirror, like, why do you think a company would spend millions of dollars to have 30 seconds on TV? So that's showing you, like I said, like I said when you go into, I forgot what kind of, I think it's commercial psychology, or um, I forgot what exactly the term is. It's a whole form of psychology when it comes to like um, advertising and, 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 and purchasing, you know what I mean? Or, you know, um, what's the word um, as far as sales, though? You know what I mean? That's why they set up certain shit the way they set it up. You know, like in grocery stores, you know, they take you the long way around. They got the, the coolers on the back end, but then you got your individual aisles with certain shit. And then, like I said, when you get up to the checkout counter, they always have candy and look knick-knack shit you know so you get that spontaneous purchase no i just went in that to say this that like i said you are already being you know manipulated or two-thirds is anyway and that's the spirit because it's saying here it says hammond stated that it is as many as two-thirds of the ritual abuse cases that existed the victims have been subjected to a highly developed and uniform technology of mind control what we know of MK Ultra is the tip of the iceberg. Often, according to Hammond, there will be bloodline people, that is, persons programmed by their parents who are involved in cultic practice such as Satanism or in intelligence agency programs. <laughs> That's the spirit. Uh, I will stop there because I'm going to get a script. So bear with me for a second, but I'm going to end the video here.